Hey guys, it's Aarti and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell icon. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the tour of the University of Lincoln. And just note that um, right now the Easter holiday is going on, so there's not going to be like the buzziness that happens usually normally. And also, I'm filming it from the IQ Pavilion's perspective since I live in this accommodation. So the route might be a little different, but I'm going to try and cover everything. So, let's begin. So to start with, this is a huge football ground that the university has. And as we start walking, you can spot these maps all around the campus. This is the Witham House and it's basically the multi-faith chaplaincy center. To the left over there, there are two more football grounds and this is the university sports center which also has the gym and the university merch that you can buy. Over there at the front, we have a student accommodation named Signet Wharf and we'll get close to it later. As we walk further, there is this bridge number one that we come across to which I'll be showing you where it leads. The campus is actually divided by the railway tracks and if you can see that's the Arts Bridge which is the shortcut to go that side where you can avoid waiting for the train to pass. We are now officially on the university campus and it just takes like about 5 minutes from the IQ pavilions. The first building to my left is the Janet Lane Clayton building which is a laboratory for schools of chemistry, life sciences and pharmacy. Opposite that building is the Ross Lucas Medical Sciences building. It's for all the medicine related courses. This is the arts bridge that I was talking about. And to my right, we have the Delph Pond. Over here to the left, we have Nicola de la Haye building. This is for the College of Art student. Everything related to fashion, photography and architecture is taught here. They also have like studios. Attached to Nicola de la Haye building is the Peter de Wint. This is for creative and graphic designing related courses. And over there then comes the Isaac Newton building to my right. This is for the computer science, engineering, maths and physics and it has one of the biggest lecture theatres. Attached to it is the engineering hub. As we walk further, we can also see the TP and opposite that is the LPAC which is Lincoln Performing Arts Centre for theatre and stuff. Next to LPAC is the Student Union. They help you with anything and everything and hence they have their own advice centre. We also have the engine shed where a lot of events happen and the towers bar. Opposite that is the university library from where you can borrow books, look at the dissertations, borrow laptops, etc. The yellow building is the junction which is actually a student accommodation but they also have some classrooms on the ground floor. And next to that is the David Chirik building. This is the Lincoln International Business School and also has a big lecture theatre. Next to DCB is the Sarah Swift building which is the School of Health, Social Care and Psychology. And this is how the student union looks like from the front. And then this is the railway crossing but you can take the bridge too if you are in a hurry. After the railway crossing comes the Brayford pool as we make a left. We always spot some ducks and swans over here. As we keep walking comes the Minerva building, the main building with all the support like ICT and the Students Advice Center. This is where you have to enroll when you first come to the university. Also, it's not like your classes will happen only in your department building. It will be scattered throughout the campus as per the availability of the classrooms. Behind the Minerva building, we can see the other end of the Arts Bridge. And then comes the Alfred Tennyson building, home to all the media related courses like photography, television, radio, etc. 
And then we also have this one, which is the University Pub. Then we have the Stephen Langton building. This is again for the College of Arts students. This is where you collect your student ID cards after your enrollment. And next to it is the Student Wellbeing and Health Service, where you have to register for the GP. Behind that is the bridge number one, which I was talking about. It leads to this part, so that's another shortcut for you. And then you can spot the Signet Wharf up close. Then we have the Bridge House, College of Social Sciences, Lincoln Law School, School of Education and School of Social and Political Sciences. If you walk further, on the right we have another student accommodation which is Lincoln Courts. And then we come across the village hall where we have more classrooms. And that's it for this video guys. I really hope this video helped you if you're coming to the University of Lincoln. I hope you got an idea of how the university looks like. And thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a huge like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!